I'm uh, Inigo Westmeyer, uh, the director of Dragon Girls. Okay. What about your history? So, what you bring up to be a director and your experience in film? Oh, actually, I studied to be a cameraman, a director of photography in Moscow. And from Moscow, I did some supplementary studies in Germany and then in Los Angeles. And yeah, and then I became, um, now I think almost 20 years doing films as a cameraman. It is now Dragon Girls is my first film as a um, director. Okay. How you get involved with China? So why you pick the Chinese topics? Um, I did some Kung Fu myself. And uh, <laughs> there was a little, little boy who came and he could, he came from China and he could like a little bit run up the wall and down and me as a cameraman I thought like okay without any special effects he can do this and so I was talking to the monks um, and they told me about the school and about the, the temple mm -hmm. so I thought it was very interesting and then I went there. I see, so how, how long you filmed this, I mean your film? Um, I shot four weeks in the summer and one week in the winter. Okay. So you didn't follow the whole, like, normal documentary, sometimes you, you, you film the whole two years, three years, so you only film a few months? Yes. Okay. So what's your impression? How do you think, how would you think about the school, the China, the China and your film? Oh, um, I was very impressed and also impressed by the, by the Kung Fu, by the mass of people who are training there, but the most um, impression or, or the most fascinating I thought was where the little girls and their stories. Mm -hmm. So a little bit to look behind all this and okay. to talk with them and to talk about so they could talk about the feelings. Okay. And yeah. And so what, what do you want to tell the audience about from your film? Actually, what I thought is the most touching point is um, like the parents need to work so much to give all their money to the kids so they can train the kids train the whole day and what is actually missing and the kids are really like um, missing the parents and yeah the time to, yeah the time together that's yeah so yeah, because this time also they, it goes away, they can take it back, because then they become older and they won't be this small anymore, they won't be together there anymore. So actually it's pretty, I think a pretty sad story about, yeah, and actually for everybody, for myself, and it's also a little bit like, okay, how much time do I spend with my kids and how much with the work and how much the balance of the life uh, the balance yes and there the balance i found is really extreme like the parents are just working to give the money to the kids the kids are just training to give afterwards the money back to the parents yeah but do you think that the 20000 like students in the school they become a, a factory they try to make the same person same skill same personality is it you know, in the Western world, we believe, we believe in freedom, you know, individual development. But we look at, your, from your film, everyone stay in the same discipline. Work, wake up in 5 a.m. in the morning, get trained the same people with discipline. Yes. Well, the one, of, one of the big things I try to do with the film also is not to have to make my own opinion there. You know, to leave the opinion open. So if, if they say, if they see the film, everybody can think, okay, what does he think? Is this good or is this good or is this good? Because also, okay, they're training very hard, but what is the variant if they stay in their, in their uh, village? You know, what is there? So it's difficult. I don't want to say this is good, this is not, this is good and good. So For myself, the what they yes, this would be nice to, to let the audience decide. For myself, I don't want to, I, I don't think that such a strict rules are good, but this is my opinion. So just reveal what's happening, the reality, and yes. let the audience decide what they do. Yes, they and I wanted to show it through the perspective of the kids mm -hmm. and not through my perspective.
and that's why I let the kids talk. But you yeah. also interview the, the, the headmaster, the headmaster yeah. yeah, and and the and the monk of the of the Shaolin Temple, yeah, and they have also both of them their opinion, and they are, it's not the same opinion. They are always uh, cut against, you know, like yeah. one says and the other. So do you need to send a script for approval before you get filmed or start the film? Start your film because China has a very very restriction control on the, on the film industry. Yeah, I had somebody with me from the school and one from the government. Okay. Yeah. Did help you write the script and then go through the. No, I didn't have a script because it's a documentary. Okay. Yeah, but they were with me, and it's a little bit like the kids. Um, at the beginning, yeah. everybody looks at the camera and it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. And then they get used, I show the pictures and also to, to the people. And so they get more and more trust and then you can more and more film. Okay. So. So and I knew this because of I did a lot of other films as a cameraman in a lot of countries. Mm -hmm. uh, so I know you cannot go there and yeah. Try to rule it, yeah, yeah but yeah. just uh, um, so you show find, them. You find no difficulty getting through the China's authority to start to film the. Oh, we had a service production, a Chinese also, who helped a lot. Yeah. So, did you meet those girls after your film? Um, actually, we invited them for the German premiere, okay. uh, the cinema premiere. I see. And the school was okay with it and the government also and then um, we tried to do the passport but it didn't go fast enough so they didn't come which is very sad I would have really liked to see them and then they come to Germany I see. I so they didn't go because of the... No, because it took, the too, it, it, took it, yeah, it took too long yeah. From the German side or from the China side? Um, I think from the China side, China side. Yeah. yeah, which okay. is a pity. Yeah. So when they get okay, then it's too late. Yeah, when it's yeah. So what's because they needed to be there at the premiere, mm -hmm. and so. Yeah, that's good. Uh, what's your next project? Um, my next project, uh, I have two feature films which I would like to do. Yeah. Okay. But not, but not in China. Tell us about your feeling about China. Now you, you, st you start your first film about yeah, China, right? Yes. It filmed in China. Yeah, so I was very impressed. Okay. I was very impressed. And I really, really, the, the girls there really got into my heart and I was very really fascinating. But how they manage their lives. So do you like China, Chinese culture? Yes, yes, okay. of course. Because you learn Kung Fu, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, looking forward to see your yeah. next, next film. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.